Finding the five naked eye planets. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. There are five planets that you can see in the nighttime sky without a telescope. Quick, Dean, name the five naked eye planets. Uh, there's Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Very good. Thank you, thank you very much. While some of them are easy to see because they're so bright, like Venus, Jupiter, and Mars at times, Saturn can be only so-so bright, and Mercury... Well, Mercury can be tough to find since it never strays far from the glare of the sun. Earlier in the year, you may have heard that we have had all five of these planets visible at one time, a very rare event. But if you missed it, you get a second chance this month. So much for it being rare. Let's show you. Okay, we're going planet hunting, and to see three of the five naked eye planets, it is going to require precise timing and a clear view to the western horizon. We have our sky set up for August 18th at 8.45 p.m. The sun is just set, so only the brightest stars are popping out. And three of these stars are actually planets. The brightest of the planets, and the one you might spot first, is Venus. It's so bright that it will look like an airplane or a UFO. Venus can be within 27 million miles of Earth, but right now it's almost 150 million miles from us and clear across the solar system. We just recently got some amazing close-up pictures of Venus from a Japanese space probe. Nice! The second brightest planet in the western sky will be Jupiter. We've been seeing Jupiter all spring and summer, but it's now almost 600 million miles from Earth. The Juno spacecraft just arrived at Jupiter last month, and hopefully we'll get some awesome close-ups of the planet and its 67 moons. And the final planet to look for in the western sky, and toughest to see, is Mercury. Mercury is a tiny planet barely 3,000 miles wide, but it is much closer to us than Venus right now at only 80 million miles. The cool thing about planets is that they wander across the background stars. Let's see how they move from night to night and how this triangle will change. Venus will appear to get closer and closer to Jupiter. And on the evening of August 27th, oh my gosh, I feel a dance coming on. We will have a super conjunction of Venus and Jupiter. Oh man, I cannot wait. Now we're facing southwest at 10 p.m. The trio of planets, Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury, have set for the evening, and that leaves these two planets to take the stage. Mars and Saturn will be hanging out here with the constellation of Scorpius the Scorpion. Mars is the brighter of the two and should shine with a steady reddish-orange glow, while Saturn will be the steady yellow-colored light just above Mars. As we look forward in time, we can watch these planets wander night after night. By the night of August 23rd, Mars will slide directly between Saturn and a reddish star called Antares. Hmm, cool lineup. Oh, uh, wait a second. We've talked about the five naked eye planets. What about the other three? Oh, yeah. Well, you can find Earth easily enough, day or night. Uh, yeah, uh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> and the other two planets, Uranus and Neptune, can only be seen in a telescope. If you scan the skies after midnight, you might be able to find them. They're both tough targets since Uranus is 1.8 billion miles from Earth right now, and Neptune is almost 2.7 billion miles away. So, there you have it. How to find the five naked eye planets. Look for the trio of Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury low in the west between 8.45 and 9 p.m. And then look southwest to find Saturn above the brighter planet Mars. And don't forget to say hi to the Earth. Hi, Earth! But don't keep looking down for too long. We want you to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.